Major tech companies from Tesla to Microsoft, Amazon to Google have rushed to replace human workers with artificial intelligence. Analysts say the pace of automation is accelerating faster than anyone expected. A recent MIT report surveyed 150 business leaders and 350 employees and found that only 5 to 7 percent of AI implementations are generating significant value or immediate revenue increases. That means 93 to 95% of AI projects are failing to achieve measurable results. According to a survey by OrgView, 55% of businesses that replaced employees with AI now regret that decision. More than half of companies are admitting they made a mistake. The reality on the ground has been disastrous. At McDonald's drive throughs customers had bacon mistakenly added to their ice cream. One order ballooned to hundreds of dollars worth of chicken nuggets due to AI errors. Two vanilla creamers and two sugars. Was that a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit? No. The system was so unreliable that McDonald's ultimately scrapped it entirely. Taco Bell introduced AI at over 500 locations across the United States, but the implementation had been so problematic that their chief technology officer admitted to the Wall Street Journal, sometimes it lets me down, but sometimes it really surprises me. That uncertainty is the fundamental problem with AI today. Klarna implemented AI chatbots and slashed their workforce from 5,000 employees to just 2,000. The CEO boldly claimed AI would replace half his workforce in just a few years. After cutting thousands of jobs, the buy now, pay later company Klarna saw huge problems when switching from humans to AI. CEO Sebastian Simiatkowski regrets his decision. Problem resolution times increased by 27%. Unsatisfactory customer interactions grew by 35% in the first three months. By 2025, the CEO completely reversed course, stating that quality human support is the way of the future for us. Duolingo implemented an AI-first system to replace contractor work. The result? Errors affected up to 42% of content in some courses and caused an 18% drop in user retention during the first quarter. Sports Illustrated, a major media publisher, provides another example. In late 2024, the company laid off much of its writing staff and began publishing AI-generated articles. Readers quickly revolted after discovering factual errors, such as incorrect game statistics and generic, lifeless prose. The backlash caused web traffic to crash by 40%, prompting a complete reversal. By 2025, Sports Illustrated restored 90% of its human-written content and faced over $5 million in damages and legal disputes stemming from the failed experiment. A key driver behind the AI rush is Wall Street pressure. According to Goldman Sachs, 36% of S&P 500 companies mentioned AI in their Q4 2023 earnings calls, an all-time high. And by mid-2025, that number had risen to nearly 60%. Firms referencing AI often saw higher short-term stock gains, even without measurable productivity improvements. This has fueled what analysts call AI washing, where companies exaggerate their use of artificial intelligence to attract investors. The CFA Institute warns that AI washing poses growing ethical and transparency risks, as some corporations tout AI integration without evidence of tangible returns. This investor-driven hype has created a feedback loop. Big tech firms announcing layoffs for AI efficiency frequently saw stock prices rise, incentivizing others to follow suit. Goldman Sachs estimates over $1 trillion in AI capital spending through 2027, yet only a fraction of projects currently deliver real financial value. Smaller, privately held companies, less beholden to shareholder optics, have generally taken a slower, more cautious approach, suggesting that the race to appear AI-ready is often more about perception than proven performance. According to a survey from OrgView, 55% of business leaders who laid off employees in favor of AI now admit they made the wrong decision. A quarter of business leaders were unsure which roles would benefit most from AI and nearly 30% didn't have a clear grasp of which positions were at risk. Oliver Shaw, CEO of OrgView, explains, 
businesses are learning the hard way that replacing people with AI without fully understanding the impact on their workforce can go badly wrong. A 2024 Microsoft survey found that 53% of workers worried that using AI would make them look replaceable to their employers, while 45% expressed fear about AI replacing them entirely. This office paranoia, as Business Insider describes it, has real consequences. Recent research shows employment for workers aged 22 to 25 in AI-exposed sectors dropped 6% between late 2022 and July 2025. Entry-level positions in software engineering and customer service saw particularly steep declines of roughly 20%. When AI systems break down, entire operations can halt, while human workers can resolve incidents immediately. Medical facilities have reported AI confusing doctors with patients or misidentifying document sources, errors with direct patient safety implications. Back in 2017, Tesla provided an early warning. Elon Musk attempted to build an almost entirely automated production workshop for the Model 3. The goal was 5,000 vehicles per week. The initiative fell short of expectations. Robots specialized in placing front seats broke down up to five times a day, while industry standards show operational intervals exceeding a month without interruptions. Tesla had to reintegrate human staff through an emergency project where workers replaced the robots. Musk later tweeted, humans are underrated. Production only recovered after acknowledging the value of human labor, allowing the company to avoid bankruptcy. The financial impact extends beyond failed implementations. Companies that implemented AI without adequate human supervision experienced a 22% increase in voluntary employee turnover during the first six months, raising recruitment and training costs by 18%. Meanwhile, spending continues at a staggering pace. NVIDIA H100 GPUs that power AI cost $30,000 to $40,000 each. Meta has 600,000 of them. AI has caused a 4% increase in electricity use in the United States. Morgan Stanley estimates data center investment will reach $3 trillion over the next three years, heavily fueled by debt. The belief driving this spending is that AI will cut costs by 40% and add $16 trillion to the S&P 500. But as we've seen, that may be wildly unrealistic. OpenAI's operating costs are estimated to be around $28 billion a year, while its revenues for 2025 are projected to be approximately $13 billion. That's not sustainable. To be fair, some implementations succeed. The MIT report notes that younger startups are excelling by picking one specific pain point, executing it well, and partnering skillfully. The key difference? These implementations are done smartly and slowly rather than being rushed. Companies that purchase specialized AI tools from vendors succeed 67% of the time, while internal builds succeed only one-third as often. In logistics, route optimization with AI accompanied by human supervision has reduced delivery delays by 18%. Some workers using tools like ChatGPT report saving one to five hours per week through augmentation, not replacement. Unity, for instance, deployed AI for customer support ticket deflection, automating routine inquiries and summarizing histories for human agents. This system handled 8,000 tickets and saved approximately $1.3 million annually while boosting agent productivity, allowing staff to focus on complex issues rather than routine ones. Importantly, no roles were eliminated, efficiency and job satisfaction both improved. Similarly, Hiscox, an international insurance firm, leveraged Microsoft 365 Copilot to streamline claims processing. The company reduced claim handling times from up to one hour to just 10 minutes, enabling faster resolutions across 14 countries. AI augmented human handlers by automating information synthesis, improving both speed and accuracy without replacing employees. Here's the reality. AI can replace jobs effectively and efficiently. The data proves it. Companies implementing AI gradually with proper planning see 35% productivity increases and 27% operational cost reductions. The 95% failure rate isn't a technology problem. It's an implementation problem. Companies rushed in without proper planning, adequate training, or strategic integration, often driven more by the need to impress investors and boost stock 
stock prices than by genuine readiness. They treated AI as a plug-and-play solution when it requires careful implementation and ongoing oversight. The companies succeeding with AI invest in training programs, purchase specialized tools from proven vendors, and integrate AI systematically. They understand that replacing jobs with AI works when it's done deliberately rather than desperately. The dark side isn't the technology itself. It's the rush to cut costs without doing the groundwork, the billions wasted on half-baked solutions, and the organizational chaos that follows. AI will replace jobs, that's inevitable. But success comes from proper implementation, not blind automation. Want more videos like this? Subscribe to MacHard for weekly AI updates and leave your thoughts in the comments below.